Welcome to the last pair of videos for Stardew Valley, folks. Usually the side video would go after the main LP part, but I actually want to put this one first, so watch this before part 27. This is a look at some of the other farms and characters that I've been playing on. This first character here, Jacqueline, is, like I mentioned last part, the character that I got the furthest in the game with, and because of playing with her, it convinced me to actually let's play the game. Originally I wasn't going to, because I think I mentioned this. My first playthrough of the game, I got a season and a half, and I got so bored with it that I gave up. But with Jacqueline, I understood the game better and understood what to actually do. There's still a bit of a learning curve that I got with Best that isn't really shown with Jacqueline, but... She's a good example to show up the forest farm. There's a lot more trees. Not trees you can cut down, just trees in the way. But over in the west, there are hardwood stumps you can chop down, and some forest forage, like mushrooms, which show up outside of fall. I still think the only forage you really can't find is the fiddlehead fern. You still gotta go to the secret woods for that, but otherwise, the forest farm is an extension of the secret woods. Does the hardwood replenish on the forest farm? Yep, every day. Oh, wow. This is nice, because I just had the worst nightmare. We were blue, and we were slaves to a corporate blood-sucking machine. Happy willing slaves. Everyone in town hated us. And loved us. And we drank so much soda. Ugh, it was weird. And there was a pig in an inner tube. Yeah, that's... It's weird. So in third place, in that marriage poll, was Leia. So that's who Jacqueline's gonna marry. And hopefully not unceremoniously leave. No, this is a marriage for life. And I actually have a dog. Doggo! Did that dog just ba? Yes. Did that pig just bark? Yes. Did that chicken just moo? Yes. Oh, so you can chop those down. I didn't know you could. That's not a chicken down there. That was not a chicken. There was a duck. I should clarify, this is all before version 1.3. But everything new we would have seen in that version will be in best story. Oh my god, Lewis, get a new script. It's slightly different when you're same gender. Pronounce you wife and, well, wife. Wife and other wife. You can decide which is which. I don't think I was wearing a tux or a dress or anything. Nah, I don't care. I know it's a cut, but I like to pretend that money you got was your wedding gift. Hey, so when you're married to Leia, she'll give you forage sometimes. I don't know if I realize that the different spouses could give you different stuff. She's even got her own slightly smoother looking corkscrew wood structure. Now, when you are same gender, you can still have kids. It's just you adopt instead of giving birth. Otherwise, it's essentially the same. Oh, good. Um, this is Taco the Ghost. Yeah. This is my first save file. Rock the Killer. Dumple Farm? She's always been wearing that skull mask, and she hasn't accomplished nearly as much as Best or Jacqueline.
She did it her way. Wearing a skull mask. That box makes no sense. Oh no, you've got fish in different chests. One of them's blocking the stairs. Like I mentioned, this was like two years ago. I've learned so much since. I'm very much sure I am not. I try to be clever and keep some of this out of the way. I greatly prefer the best farm layout. Oh, heavens. Oh, we actually saw a lightning hit a lightning rod. I'm just trying to figure out where Taco the Ghost even is in terms of the story and what have you. Um, well, bad at chickens. I think at some point I was just like, I'm done with animals. No, okay, good at chickens, bad at everything else. Yeah. Thank you, weed. You're welcome, dude. And ew, I planted trees outside. a waste of nine spaces. You have to rake all the leaves in the fall. I'm pretty sure if you've planted trees outside, you can actually grow crops next to the tree once it's matured, but if there's anything in any of the adjacent eight squares around a non-matured tree, it will just freeze in its development forever. Which includes things like rocks and stuff, which is really obnoxious. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, you like maple syrup? <laughs> so Yataco's farm is big and empty. This is the standard farm. I made this farm before the additional farm types were added. So this was the only option. There's just not much here because I've destroyed almost everything. I did go with the mushroom cave, but we already saw that with the multiplayer videos. We saw the boxes. Pulsating menacingly as the mushrooms spawned inside. Now obviously... Whoa! Yeah, most of my side characters hadn't gotten married yet. In fourth place in the poll was Shane. So he's going to marry the demon. He doesn't seem interested in talking to his fiance. He's dedicated to his work. Yep, still weirded out by Marty's happy dance. <laughs> so there was a second option here. Once Morris shows up, I'm going to take that second option. I'm not going to get everyone rallied together in communal harmony. This is the ending I got. This is the more fun ending. Oh yeah. Blech. How does it feel? Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. If I were a drone, I would agree. <laughs> what? I think you got a little cola stuck in your throat. The old fashioned way is straight up fisticuffs. Them's fighting words, Pierre. I like the implication that, like, some warehouse worker is gonna get punched in the face for their employer. <laughs> George approves. <laughs> yeah. 
It's an old fashioned kind of guy. Oh. Joke's on you, I don't sell fresh produce. Unless the farmer sells me some! Hmm. What a coincidence. You fight like a cow. And the topper is pretty satisfying. Wabam! <laughs> Looks like Team Joe is blasting off again. <laughs> Wait, didn't this place have a roof? Yeah, and then Pierre summoned sunglasses out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, because he fucking died. Punched him into the goddamn sun. Morris died on the way back to his home planet. And Taco's wearing her ceremonial mask. <laughs> well, let's get it over with. Hey, you liked Marnie dancing, did you? Uh, biscuits. If you want, I guess. How can we kiss? You're wearing a mask. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You rip off your mask and it's just another mask underneath. <laughs> That's just how she looks, man. Don't mask shame. So this is cute. Shane's little corner is a chicken hut. Where he keeps Charlie, I guess. You can't go in there. Sadly. I mean, you wouldn't fit. But still. Chickens only. Chicken only clubhouse. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the first fucking thing you say after being married? I'm ready for death. His room is a lot sadder. Oh, god. Oh, it's th that's horrible. It's disgusting. He has a genesis. <laughs> So it's a little sad that you go through all that story with Shane, and as soon as you get married, it's implied he's right back on alcohol. And now so am I. I will become one with my husband. Oh my god. That corn will be fertilized pretty damn soon. Those were all the saves that I had actually played through. There was still at least one more farm that we haven't shown off. And you can take a guess which one. <laughs> um, the desert farm. No such thing, it's a river farm. River is a water spirit. He lives for water, he lives near water. He is water. Oh god. Oh, it's glasses. <laughs> Look like a weird-ass anime eyes from the side. Could be both. Uh, please no. It is kind of nice that there's a skip intro option. Yeah. What's more obnoxious than sitting through an intro cutscene you've already seen? Yeah, let's turn that down. Max speed is a little too much. And like I mentioned, we will actually be looking at the cheats menu later in the video. But it has a lot of options. It's very useful. Max Speed sounds like the guy you buy dodgy real estate from. <laughs> so we also saw the river farm when we did the multiplayer. But basically, whereas in most regular farms, you're only really going to find maybe pikes, mostly just kind of useless fish. The river farm actually has fish you would find out in the river, and I think also in the town. And there's a whole lot of water, so it's a good place for fishing. That was weird, I got two bites at once. Nope, not far enough. There we go. You're casting and just dropping the lure straight down at your feet. <laughs> and immediately pulling a fish back out. <laughs> I 
fun tip, if you're going for money and you're not annoyed by the lack of inventory space at the beginning of the game, just sell those parsnip seeds. Yeah, you don't need a farm. I mean, you'll still have that mission in your journal forever, but... So there is way less space for farming. I mean, most of this yellow ground, I guess you can dig. Yeah, how the hell are you going to get to that tree? I assume you don't. Nope. Just decoration. It's pretty. But there's another one, what the hell? Someone got over there to put fences. And there's just one cave, carefully carved out. And there's no water anywhere else. Oh yeah, cause it doesn't change the rest of the surrounding map areas, I'm sure. Space is distorted in Pelican Town. Get a better look from the distance. She's so tiny. And there's the shrine. All the way over there. You can plant, like, two things over there. No, Grandpa likes maple syrup. I mean, I can't blame him. So, if you're not Yoshi who only fishes ever, <laughs> this may not be the place for you. Hey man, I saw your old Harvest Moon LPs. You don't get to be down on anyone about fishing. I didn't only fish. You're getting married and you've never even checked the community calendar? Wind River arrived yesterday. Are we still moving down the marriage pole? Yep, Haley got fifth. Surprisingly. That's... What is it, a field of ten? Twelve. Ah, uh, I expect her to be, like, fourteenth. I don't know, Alex. And amusingly, because I got married before I'd ever upgraded the house, she has nowhere to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> She also has no room for her own room. She just sleeps on the wood pile. And she has her own palm trees, I guess. And she just disappears. Oh my god, you've erased a person from existence. Okay, in that case, good job, guys. Good job voting Haley in. <laughs> I approve. Yay. Good work, River. Sacrificed her to the river gods. So now it's time to take a look at the mods, and for that we need our own character. I'm calling him Al Mod Cons. Which is a very strange the jam reference. That is so far over my head it needs an oxygen mask. Yeah. Rockin'. So I can barely can do anything at all with Al, but we will take a look at the menu. I use two menus. The Chiefs menu, I think you access by pressing P. There's a whole bunch of options. It has to do with pretty much all of your stats. Possibly also luck, I don't know. Yeah, max daily luck. Everything having to do with your tools, your money, even the casino, the amount of tokens that you have. You do need to choose infinite stamina. So I will cop to using this near the end of the main LP, but only after the point where I'm just waiting. By that point, it has nothing to do with skill, just time, so fuck that, speed it up.
get all your maker machines to just poof stuff out right away. Just chomp and drop. I like the fact that they actually have a speeded up worm bin. Like, that's really gonna change the game. <laughs> While you're in there mucking about, might as well hit everything. So it's a little too bad. It looks like there's an option to change the weather today, but you can decide what the weather tomorrow will be. Now, in the save editor that I used at the beginning of the LP, I think it had this option. The cheats menu doesn't. Max out your friendship with everyone in town. In the cheat menu, you need to actually introduce yourself and talk to them first. Otherwise, you just don't have access to their heart rating. Also, Al is a powerful time wizard. Oh, yeah. He knows great time magics. With time frozen in infinite health, you can go all the way down the mines in one day if you wanted. After it's unlocked. The second mod menu that I used, also from CJB, is the item spawner. With this, you have access to every single item in the game. Everything. Practically everything with a tile, excluding, like, the people. Some of these are items you can't even pick up off the ground. Things usually on the ground, like the original weeds or rocks that you destroy. But also all the produce, all the fish, everything consumable. It's found everything, and for most of them, you can get 999 of them. Including the mayor shorts. Yep. Never go shopping again. So, like, what kind of stuff was dummied out? It's probably mostly down in miscellaneous, but there are things like a weed item. It's a very strange weed item, because I remember when I was playing Taco the Ghost, I tried to plant a tree in the greenhouse. The tree disappeared, and instead it was an infinitely spawning weed. <laughs> like, I would just pull it out of the ground, and I got, like, a stack of 99 before I realized something's wrong here, and then I had to chop it down with the axe to get rid of it. Good, proper weaponry on hand at all times. Very important. You can even get stuff you normally can't pick up, like that slime ball. That's the thing that you break in order to get the slime bits in your hutch. But here you can actually put it in your inventory. Will that then let you give it as a gift? Probably. I don't think people would react to it, though. There are some things you can't actually give to people. Now, the Ritual Mask, I don't think that's in the game anywhere. I think that's another thing I got dummy down. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ape made a poo-poo. I like it. <laughs> so does that... Oh, oh, you can't put him down. It looked like there were two of... What are they, the wicked statues that keep the witch away? Yeah, one of them goes in your slime hutch, the other in your chicken hut. Ah. Invisible wood? That's not... What? Uh, what? what? Eat that's... lumber. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's appropriate for Al. Delicious. So we had an advanced robot, a robot fueled by cola, and I guess he just has a wood-burning stove inside him? I think, from what I've seen of this CJB Cheats mod as well, you can change the quality of the items that you are spawning with some other button press. That weed right there, the one that says bunch of obnoxious weeds, those are the ones that I found in the greenhouse. You can also eat those. Oh, geez, and they even... Nearly made me barf. Tipped it down, though. What a trooper. Because <laughs> why not? Okay, she weren't rich enough already. I mean, you never did buy that gold clock. I will, by the time part 27 comes around. Oh, okay. 
Can't do anything with that either. Just gonna sell it. Those are the geodes you would find in the mining farm. I wonder if they even have a sell value. I think they do. I think it's like a hundred. Well, I think we'll see. It's probably a default for it. Based on my rather limited programming chops. And of course we have a catalog in our head. Ooh, you can buy the furniture catalog from the item spawner and then you can get all the <laughs> furniture items for free? Or you can cut out the middleman. Now this, this will drive Joe Jamart out of business. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, I've got to put it in my house. Chair. You can't use the chair. Oh. No one can use the chair. Ooh, bread. <laughs> Trash bread. So I've already seen this. But another thing you can do with the cheat menu is change the time. This does break pretty much everyone's programming, though. Because people still have to walk to where they're supposed to be at any given time. So I'm guessing they all go, oh shit, and just start walking. Sometimes, otherwise, they sit out the entire hour and then do what they're supposed to. Ah, uh, okay. But another thing you can do is just instantly teleport to different places. That's one way to get to the desert immediately, because you don't need the bus. Here, have some trash bread. Very thoughtful of you. No translation tooltip title favorite. <laughs> That's a separate mod. When you hover over a person that tells you their favorite items, and you can see most people love prismatic shards and rabbit's foots. Who doesn't? Except maybe the rabbit. I think Haley dislikes the rabbit's foot? Not sure about that. Whoa! Oh, you broke it. You got wiggly money. Wiggly money is when it's just absurd. So yeah, it's like 50 each. If you overflow it to another uh, power of 10 or more, the money actually like wiggles worse. <laughs> it's kind of hysterical. Overnight millionaire. Oh no. And now the real cheating begins. The real cheat that matters. We all know I couldn't get through this game normally. So luckily, I found a mod that made me invincible. Yeah. No. There you go. This is like some old school Game Boy in the back of Mom's car long road trip stuff going on here, so I don't blame you. This is like a classic Game Shark code. Cause seriously, who who wants to do this? Dear God, yeah. who wants to do this? Do actually have money. Fuck you! <laughs> Let me kill you. Your bullets are useless. <laughs> that speeded up dramatically. Oh god. Well, bam. And then the witch exploded all over us. So that was the only way I could get Fector's challenge achievement. Yeah, 40 out of 40. Yay! Well, hey, that's all the achievements in Stardew Valley now. Yay. Best. You little sneaker. What are you doing? <laughs> 